Oh, hey guys, how's it going? I am hot. It's October fucking something, and it's 20 fucking something degrees. That doesn't make sense. I've already done a TikTok about it and an Instagram story about it, and now I'm talking about it on whatever the fuck this is. So um, I'm talking too much about it because it's annoying. So this is my review of... I'm just trying out a new podcast setup, by the way. Don't mind me. What do you think? Let me know what you think. Uh, this is my review of The Reckoning, which is the new uh, BBC drama about Jimmy Savile. Um, Steve Coogan plays Jimmy Savile, the disgraced TV show host and DJ from the 60s, all the way up to his death in 2011. Um, that was a good summary, though, wasn't it? Top of my head. Yeah, um, so he's disgraced. Do you know what? I'm not going to fucking run through Jimmy Savile. If you're watching this, you already know. So basically, Steve Coogan's impression of Jimmy Savile, was it good? Yes. So you instantly settle because you feel like, okay, Steve Coogan's got the essence of this weird fucking bloke. The one note I would say to Steve, if you're watching, is that he didn't quite catch the, like, quite how caricatured the guy was. And I would say that was probably a choice. He probably decided to not go too far because if it felt too novelty, it would almost feel too big for reality because Jimmy Savile kind of was too big for reality. But in a drama, that wouldn't quite work. So I think he held back. Another thing I would say is um, once he was playing Jimmy Savile older, he wasn't quite cranky enough uh, in his body movements. Like Jimmy Savile as an old man was was fucking broken and he just he it was it was the same but he was stiff as fuck. He was stiff since like the the 70s. Um and Jimmy's still playing him kind of quite languidly and I just don't think it works. Um on the positive side, it feels even though it's a story about Jimmy Savile, it does feel victim orientated or at least compassionate to the victims. So it feels like the story is about his no what am I trying to say? The story is about them. The story is about um, how did he get away with abusing these people? How did he... Um, and, and, and the lives that he ruined. That's what it's about. So it kind of keeps going back to these people. We've even got real life interviews in there. And I think the attacks are from the victim's point of view rather than almost there's no exploitative elements to it you know it's not trying to like make it seem really dark and brooding and criminal and and almost yeah exploit is the only way I can think about it like it didn't glorify it that's the wrong word but it didn't kind of make it feel like a crime doc kind of thing like ooh, what do you do next you know it was all from the victim's point of view as it should be I think a criticism um, from a lot of people, which I think is fair, is that it's airing on the BBC and the BBC do not have clean hands. Is that a phrase? In regards to Jimmy Savile, because they employed him throughout most of these criminal years. Um, But then again, you know, they could not air it, which would be worse. I guess they're trying to get some form of redemption by tackling the issues with the drama. I don't really know. I think in all honesty, I haven't checked in on this, but it'll probably be like um probably be a third party production company that's gone and made this and then BBC have gone and bought it. I I doubt it'll be a BBC commissioned piece. Maybe it is. I think it's worth a watch. I don't think it's groundbreaking, um, but I think it's important um and robustly made. But I don't think it really gets its digs its nails into the the structural, like, political um, reasons for how he got away with it enough, especially within the BBC. So I'd give it... um, I'd give it a 6.5 out of 10. Recommend. If you think you can stomach it. Uh, Thanks for joining me. This is my new podcast setup. Let me know your thoughts. Not for this, by the way. It's not set up for doing this. I'm just testing it by doing this, but I want to do something else with it. Okay. 
See you next time.